Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In this tutorial, this will be an update to a tutorial that I did a while back whereby I showed you how you can take a photo using your phone or the emulator. A few months after after that, uh, one of the methods I used was duplicated and that is the start activity for result. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you the alternative method that you will use to achieve the same functionality. And for that, we'll be using uh, the alternative one, which is the Activity Result Launcher. Before we deep dive into the tutorial, please click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to be notified every time there is a new tutorial on the channel. And with that, let's get started. Now, in this code here, this is the same code that I uh, that I used in the previous tutorial. Uh, the only difference is I'm going to change the uh, the start activity with the Activity Result Launcher. Uh, Let's do that now. So the first thing is, I'm going to comment the, the deprecated method here. So the start activity for result, we don't need that anymore. And for the activity, the on activity result, I'm going to remove that as well. Just uh, comment that out. All right. And next is, I'm going to use the new one, which is the activity result launcher. And this would uh, just type it and then for the autocomplete, here you would pass the attempt, and I'm going to call this activity result launcher. So I'm declaring it here on top because I'll be using it before before I call the uh, the take photo set on click listener method. Uh, that's the difference here because uh, bef uh, previously when we used on activity result, it was outside of the the onCreate method here. But for this one, the new one should be inside, and we do it before the the on click listener. Let's do it now. And uh, we'll do, we'll call this activity result launcher, and that will you will initialize it here. Activity result launcher equals new activity result launcher. Uh, so it should be register for activity result. So we have two methods here. We'll go with the first one. The activity result launcher and I'll explain to you why so here in the result for activity result register sorry for activity result it takes two uh, arguments the first one is the 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 activity result and then the callback first is the activity result contract and then the callback so we'll do new activity result contracts activity activity result results Results contracts it should be with an S dot start activity for result. That's the first first argument. The second would be the uh, uh, the result callback. We'll do new activity activity result callback. That's the one. And you can see we have already a method call on activity result and. Uh, finally, don't forget to add the semicolon here. All right, so we have the unactivity result. No what? So now we've added two arguments here. The second part is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna I'm going to go back to the unactivity result, the deprecated method. I'm going to copy the exact code that we previously had inside this method, and I'm going to paste that here. I'm going to uncomment this uh, code. And you could see that Android Studio is complaining with uh, so many errors around here. We'll fix that one by one. First, we have the F conditions here. So we here we used to have the request code, but for this new method, we don't have the request code anymore. We only have, we only have the result. With this result, we'll be able to get the request code. All you have to do is type result dot get that get result code, and then we'll uh, We'll need to remove that because for the camera action code, we don't need that anymore. So delete that and delete this as well. It should be result code because first we're checking if the result is okay. And we do that by result or get result code, result are okay. And then for the data, the data is the one that has the, uh, the picture that was taken. We, can, we don't have the, the, the data variable anymore and we can get that data through the result. So we'll do result dot get data. 
it's not equal to null. So here we're checking if the data is not equal to null and then proceed with the bundle. And there is an error here. Oh, there's a missing. Sorry about that. Oops. Get data. Uh, oops, let me just fix that up. All right. There was a there was a missing parentheses. Next, we have the bundle here. So the bundle takes the data. Now we don't have the data. What you could do is just copy this result dot get data, and you get the get extras. That's bad. and then that's that's it for the on activity result. The final part is remember we used to have the F condition here, and then we're checking for the package. If there's an activity, if there's an application that can handle this type of action, we used to call this start activity for result. We pass it the intent and request code. Well, for this one, we'll do, uh, we call this activity result launcher. You just copy this, you paste it here, and then we'll have the launch method. You choose that, and you will pass the attend inside here. That's basically it. That's the, the changes that you need to do in order to have the same uh, functionality. So what we did, we use the activity result launcher. We pass in the attend. We initialize that here. By initializing it, we need to pass two arguments. That is the activity result contracts. Make sure it's with an S here. And then the second method would be, the second argument, sorry, would be the, the callback. And when we do the callback, we'll have the on activity result. And this variable, this result here, has the result code and has the get data. And then you will pass the, uh, these into the, uh, the bundle. And from the bundle, you get the bitmap and you pass the bitmap into the image view so that you will be able to see the image. And finally, you call the start active start. You call the activity result launcher dot launch and you pass that intent. That's basically it. Let's give this a run. Let me show you how that looks like in the emulator. All right, so build is complete. We have this simple button here. So you just tap on that. This will open up the camera, and you will take a picture. Just click on the camera icon. And the picture is taken, you click on this tick mark icon, and the picture is right there. So that's how you can use the new method. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel for more great tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, and happy coding.